everybody welcome back to the channel the main event here and as you can see from the title and thumbnail we're going to be going over a pokemon known as iron thorns um i kind of want to go over all the iron pokemon as i'm currently just finishing my uh, violet playthrough um so the first one i wanted to go through was one of the coolest in my opinion was iron thorns well, who is iron thorns iron thorns is basically future tyranitar um there are some key differences between two pokemon one being the typing so original tyranitar is rock and dark and the new one is rock and electric he's powered by electricity he's from the future um there are some stat differences as well between the two so if you see here the first three stats on both pokemon are going to be the same 100 134 110 so they're still um very very much so let me change that down so it doesn't look like it's changing stats um they're very much so bulky defensive physical attackers um for both months the key difference is going to be in their next three stats. Special attack for both of them is below average, but uh, Tyranitar has a higher base special attack and a higher base special defense and a lower speed. Um, you can see special defense here is a bit lower and the speed is a bit higher, which we can take advantage of. Um, I'm going to go over a couple of stats. One I'd consider like a standard set, something that's kind of like a, a offensive set. Bit of a you know Wally Stally kind of set, and there's something super duper niche just for fun. Um, the ability on here though is Quirk Drive. What is Quirk Drive? While extra terrain or booster energy are active, the highest stat is 1.3 times or 1.5 times of its speed. That's gonna come into play later as well. Um, all the Quirk Drive uh, future Pokemon have this ability, so I I'm am gonna use booster energy as the item for most of these because I think it'll be the best item for these Pokemon because. If you're going to use something like a life orb, you could, you're better off using the booster energy on this and then saving the life orb for something else, for example, right? Which is why I think booster energy is the item just to, the very standard item to go with on most of these sets. So the first set is going to be a very, very standard set, right? Kind of how you would run Tyranitar for the most part is just something where it's like max HP, you know, adamant max attack, minus special attack. Um, you put that extra bit into the special defense. You could invest some more if you like. Um, you're going to take advantage of your two stabs, um, rock slide and wild charge are your primary stab moves. In my opinion, I think there are some other options for rock slide, but I think rock slide is fine. It works. Um, wild charge is really good. Does a lot of damage. Does a lot of recoil as well, but you do have a pretty beefy HP stat to help cover for that. Um, you are going to run a coverage. Now ice punch is what I have here, but you very well could run, um, stomping tantrum, um, because you're going to trouble, you're going to have trouble with ground types. Um, and you're also going to have to deal with um, opposing. Actually, it's just mostly like it's mostly ground types that you're going to have to deal with because you have a four times weakness to that, um, which is not optimal, right? <laughs> so you could, I think, I would probably just run Ice Punch as my coverage option. This is a standard set. Um, like I said, you could run Stopping Tantrum if you want to run it like a regular Tyranitar with the ground option. Um, you could run your normal rock slot, rock terror or electric terror. In this case, I have the electric terror type. I just think really heavily boosted stab, then extra stab terror boosted wild charges with the booster energy boost. It's probably going to Oko most Pokemon um, and your adamant. So you're getting a lot of damage out of this thing while also being able to soak up some, some hits besides dealing with like ground type. So I'm going to put the ice punch back for now. So I think that is a very good standard set. Anyone can probably use this set very well. You have Protect on there. Um, it's very user-friendly, in my opinion. Um, this is going to be a bit tougher to use, um, but it's more offensive. <clears throat> so we're going to go Jolly, uh, max speed, because you want to get as much speed as you can. Um, obviously, you can optimize that EVs later as like metas develop, but for now, we keep things pretty simple. Um, you go max speed, it gets to 136 speed, which is actually pretty good. That little extra speed it gets is actually really nice. Um, and then you can use Dragon Dance. You could use Protect on this as well if you want. Um, but I opted for Dragon Dance because you can get off a of Dragon Dance. And you can Terra in like the same turn, right? You can change your type. So if you are dealing with an opposing... And I told Terra Flying for the set and Terra Blast. Because two of the issues you're going to um, deal with the most... Is going to be ground and grass types because one ground types hit you for four times super effective um and you can't hit them with your electric stab and i'm pretty sure your they resist your uh they resist your rock stab so ground types are going to be very, very difficult to deal with uh, which is why ice punch was on the other set but if you turn into a terror type you keep your stabs but you lose these weaknesses and you gain the flying immunity to ground so that's going to be very very helpful in dealing with ground types and 
it is going to be great with dealing with grass types because they also resist electricity and they hit rock types are super effective. So they're going to be dealing with that. Um, and as far as the games, as far as we know, the, the game put out that every Pokemon can be in every Terra type. So I'm pretty sure that Terra Flying is an okay option because you should be able to change it as some somehow some way in the game. Um, Dragon Dance again gives you a massive buff in speed because even if you take your base 70 speed and you give yourself the Dragon Dance boost, which is what, 1.5? You get to 108, which is over base 100, which is like really good. So I think it's a, it's a good set. You could run Protect on there if you're a little bit worried about not having any de defense, but I think Terra Flying is a good enough defense to have. You still have to deal with ice types, but realistically, um, with your with your defensive stat, you should be able to take hits, get a Dragon Dance off, and then like revenge kill him. Um, next is gonna be something like a more of a stall set. This is not something I probably would use because I do play mostly doubles. Um, but I think if you are a more defensive minded player, you could run something like this. Um, this Tyranitar. Uh, Mon does have access to Thunder Wave, so you can paralyze stuff. You can get Iron Defense boost up. Um, you can also protect, because obviously if you're going to be a stally defensive type, you're going to have protect. Um, you can Iron Defense, and you can use Body Press as your attacking move. If you um, look down here, though, the EVs, I have it at max special defense. The reason I have it at max special defense is, one, your special defense stat is not great, and two, with the booster energy, it'll actually increase your special defense because right now it is your highest stat that isn't your HP. So that'll actually give you a base 80, 84 to like a base uh, 126 uh, special defense stat, um, which is going to be great. And then you can use iron defense to boost up this defense. Then you could just spread paralysis all over the field and just body stuff, body press stuff with your boosted, um, with your boosted defense stat. Obviously you can't hit ghost types with that cover for that with the rest of your team, obviously. And last is going to be something super niche. Um, it's actually a special attacking set. Um, oh, don't my screen just froze on me. It's a special attacking set. Um, max speed, but it's, it's going to be modest. Um, the reason that it's modest is because your special attack is only base 70. So you need to get the booster energy boost and boost that. And you get up to about 100. And, actually, no, because it's only 70, it's only about 90 something, I want to say. Hold on, let me do the math for you guys. It's a 91 special attack set, so it's still not great, <laughs> but <clears throat> it is something. It's more than what the um, it's more than uh, <laughs> than than the base 70. So you get the the boost from your your item, your cork drive. Um, you get it to about a 91 uh, attack stat. Just at the base, right? That doesn't account for your EVs. That doesn't account for your um. Actually, let's do it right now. So at 134. And you get the plus, the point three. It's one seventy four. So that's that's pretty respectable. Um, you have thunderbolt, but you obviously can replace that with thunder if you want um more damage. It does get access to power gem, which is rock type special stab, which is really good. Um, you could run earth power and then terra ground, so that way you have thunder stab, uh, rock stab, and ground stab if that's what you like to do. Um, I would maybe maybe recommend also on this set going with the electric. Um. Because again, with the low special attack stat, <laughs> you need as much output as possible, and it does reduce your electric type weakness to a, your ground type weakness to a times two versus, instead of a times four. So it is kind of a defensive move still. But yeah, so with that, you would get like I said about a 170, 175 ish base special attack. You get stab for your um, electric type moves, one point five times on those, and then you get another boost from your terror type if you want to go with that. So I think this is a cool little special attack stat for the people who like doing those kind of things it's not my cup of tea i'm going to go use its physical attack stat but for people who want to have a little bit of fun and be a little bit more niche in their team building go for it um so that's what i got for you guys right now uh you guys and girls that's say ghouls <laughs> that's that's crazy <laughs> let me know what pokemon you like me to cover uh next let me know what you think of iron thorns is it a cool pokemon do you like it um Will you be trying to use it competitively? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys for watching. Click subscribe for your boy. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.